We have, uh, we're, we're here at Miller Park. Uh, it's our third annual uh, Medicine Collection Day. We've had a steady stream of cars coming through all day. The EPA Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge removed a huge amount of electronic waste and pharmaceuticals from eight states. The goal of the challenge was collecting and recycling one million pounds of electronics, often called e-waste, plus the collection and proper disposal of one million pills. These goals were exceeded many times over. There were over 100 projects. Here are a few examples. In Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 32 tons of electronic waste and 3.5 tons of pharmaceuticals were turned in. Most of the pills are coming in still in the bottles. The pharmacists can quickly separate the controlled and the non-controlled. At the Menominee Indian Tribe of Wisconsin near Green Bay, approximately four tons of e-waste was collected, plus thousands of pounds of other trash was cleaned from the reservation by students. Tribal members turned in over 23 pounds of medicines, including 100 bottles of pills, more than 25 computers, dozens of related components like hard drives, printers, keyboards, and speakers, plus televisions, radios, DVD players, a dozen cell phones, and over 100 batteries. In Traverse City, Michigan, over 28,750 pounds, that's over 12.5 tons of computers and other e-waste was collected. The electronic waste is recycled and the pharmaceuticals are incinerated in state-of-the-art EPA licensed facilities. So why is this important? The old and broken electronics like computers, cell phones, and TVs contain heavy metals that can leach into the groundwater if dumped into landfills. The unused pharmaceuticals can end up in your drinking water if they are flushed or poured down the drain. That's because most wastewater treatment facilities are not designed to remove chemicals from these pharmaceuticals, including hormones, narcotics, seizure medication, and many more that end up back in your drinking water. During an April 2008 press conference in Milwaukee, EPA and other officials explained why the Great Lakes Challenge and similar projects are important to protect the environment and your health. You know, we often treat leftover medicine like we do all household waste. More than half the people surveyed throw their unused medicines in the trash while a third flush them in the toilet. The safest and most environmentally friendly way to get rid of them is to bring them to an unwanted medicine collection. Disposing of them in this way will also prevent childhood poisoning, reduce substance abuse by getting the drugs out of the medicine cabinet, and will keep them out of the trash. In 2009, as the nation converts from antenna television to a digital television format, a sharp increase in discarded televisions is expected. But not all traditional televisions need to be thrown out. If you are one of the more than 13 million Americans with analog televisions, you still have options. If you have cable television or satellite or telephone company television, uh, you can get something with that um, with that conversion that will be seamless. Um, others, for those that are thrown out, only nine, 15 to 20 percent are recycled. Uh, approximately 9 percent are stored away in attics and basements. Now aside from those items that are hazardous and we want to keep out of the landfill, there are also um, materials that are very valuable in these products. And uh, uh, precious metals, gold, gold and silver and, and copper that can be returned to our economy. So together with our electronic recycling partners, uh, uh, we're able to, uh, through our collection events, recover these materials. What you see over here is, is a television that, uh, um, and its component parts after it has been uh, taken apart and uh, broken down into its commodities that can then be resold. Virtually all the weight from these products um, is recycled. Uh, when it's when it's brought to uh, a recycler and so the plastics are all recovered and sent to markets that that may make consumer products such as the casing on new cameras or other things like that um, the steel and, and copper and the aluminum all that is is taken to mills and and um, 
right back into new products. Um, uh, the uh, circuit boards are sent somewhere where all those various metals in there, the little bits of gold and so on that are valuable, um, can be shredded up and uh, those metals brought back out and put back into our e economy. Officials say pharmaceutical chemicals are sent back out from wastewater treatment plants into the Great Lakes, rivers and other places where people recreate and are the intakes for drinking water. Studies show that the chemicals are appearing in the nation's tap water in small amounts. The long-term effects are not known. However, they have been linked to mutations in fish and other wildlife. Also, these medications can be stolen, diverted, or accidentally ingested by children if they languish in your medicine cabinet. You know, Earth Day is one of the favorite days at EPA because it's when we mark the anniversary of the founding of our agency in 1970. Around the country, many e-waste and pharmaceutical take-back programs have been developed by governments and local businesses. Please check with your local officials to find out details for your area, because every day should be Earth Day. This video on the projects connected to the Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge was made possible by a grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency in collaboration with the EPA's Region 5 office in Chicago and the EPA Great Lakes National Program office also in Chicago in cooperation with the nonprofit Interfaith Earth Healing Initiative in Marquette, Michigan. The Earth Healing Initiative involves American Indian tribes and a coalition of churches, synagogues, temples, and other faith traditions joining together to heal, protect, and defend the environment. I'm Greg Peterson, and you're watching Earth Healing TV.